All right, so first, baby Halo was introduced. Halo's name, what date he was born, and everything about him. Then here come DDG. Guess what he's going to tell y'all? Let me reveal the baby. So he started revealing these different pictures of baby Halo. Now I want y'all to comment in the comments down below. Do y'all believe this baby Halo or these DDG trolling again? Let me know in the comments. But him and Halle out enjoying some mommy and daddy time. And Halle put the spanking on him in the race. Y'all know he let her win. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Alright, so it was CJ one year anniversary of being, you know, targeted in a home invasion and he just happy he survived, man. Prayers up to CJ, you know, he survived. We well, he's here to tell everybody about the story. But anyway, CJ decided that he's gonna get on here and tell y'all what happened in court. So I don't do that. And speaking to my family, when I was in court yesterday, it wasn't a normal court, it was trials. And speaking to court, when I was in court yesterday, it wasn't regular court, it was trial. Y'all know Royce put videos up about what quote unquote happened in court and what happened and made it seem as if she was the winner. Well, in this situation, because the battle with kids is no winner, is no loser. Guess what? Both parents win at the end, and CJ won most of all, basically because why? He was able to see his kids. He didn't ask for anything. He just asked for visitation. She put, visit, she put child support on top of visitation. She Then she came back and said she didn't want any child support. But anyway, CJ came online and pretty much said, you know what? He ain't trying to beat nobody. Ain't no winner or loser. He just felt that it's better to have his kids for one week on and one week off opposed to two weeks on and two weeks off. It was literally the first day of trial. I haven't ever been a trial for anyone, not for myself, not as a jury, not for a friend or family member. I've never been in trial before. So that was really, really, really scary feeling for me. Not because I'm like, oh my God, what's gonna happen? But because I'm like, trial? It just don't sound cool. But anyway, it was my first day of trial and I'm not gonna give any specifics or any details to it because it's still open and, and it's a sealed case. So it's private for a reason. But something that did happen after court was the judge asked me like, what type of schedule was I more comfortable with and I told him I was comfortable with the week on week off versus every two weeks on two weeks off because going two weeks without the kids is really hard it's really a, it's a long time and I think that that week on week off is better since we got to split them 50 50 because it's less time away you know it's more often they get to see me so I just felt comfortable saying that and I said that and he awarded me that but I was in the middle of my first week back with the kids and he was like since we're doing this we're gonna change it to her get the kids today and you get them back on Sunday I'm like whoa whoa what now every Everybody's looking at the situation like, oh, well, she won. No, he won because I think she didn't want to travel back and forth from Dallas to Vegas, dropping the kids off. But it, again, it was her choice to go to Dallas. So should she be responsible for making sure the kids get there since it was her choice? Or are we still saying CJ makes more money? He should pay for them to come back and forth when he didn't move, she did. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this situation in the comments down below. And I know it's no win or lose. And I know everybody wants to say she won. And everybody wants to say he lost. Or whatever the hate. Or who you hate or who you don't hate. However y'all feel about it. Conversations being had. But anyway, now we know what happened. The judge say, okay, you get them now, she get them later. Or she get them now, you get them later. And that's what happened. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the situation in the comments down below. Are y'all still invested? You know, Royce said stay out of her business, but she told us she went to see the lawyer. She told us everything. She showed us the picture of her dropping the kids off and picking them up from CJ four hours later. She showed us the picture of her hugging her kids like she won. Does she want to stay out of her business or she just don't want nobody to tell her she's wrong? You're right, Royce. Comment in the comments down below. I'm out.